Got a short one for you today. Uh, 2006 Ford Focus. We're changing this air tube right here. So let me show you the part number. That is your part number. Now this procedure applies to 2006 to 2020 Focus and Transit Connect may also do this as well. The minivan that they built off the Focus platform. So real quick, easy one for you today. We're gonna to try to knock it out real fast. Uh, we gotta put the car back in service for shop car cause the main car is down again. So by the way, it's defective parts. So. I'm not going to do a video on that one because I already have, so I'll just kind of give you updates. All right, so this is what your new one looks like right here. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this PCB hose off. There's a green tab down here. Push back on that. Pops right off. And then you can rotate that over like that. Get it out of your way. Don't forget to take that off because these things are expensive. All right, so quarter inch nut driver or a six millimeter socket loosen up your clamps on both sides get them loose enough to where it'll come off also you want to note the location of your um, tube so when you put it on, it's going to go like this. So there's also some spots on your air cleaner that uh, will indicate where your um, inlet tube goes. And you pull back on the inlet tube to get it off the air box. Should be able just to pull it straight up like that, and then off the other end of the air box um, we're going to go ahead and take these two uh, looks like eight millimeter bolts out of the top of the air cleaner we're going to take the top of the air cleaner off doing this to give us enough room to finish getting that hose out so we'll take these two bolts out down here on the bottom eight millimeter socket takes those out and what these bolts do is they hold your air box to the uh, inlet tube so you'll take these bolts out and then you'll be able to pick this uh, top top off your air cleaner now this has a forever air box and I did do some research on it recently and they brought down the price on these so before last time I priced these was about three or four years ago they were a thousand dollars from Ford I believe you can get them aftermarket now for like two hundred dollars but I always just reset the button down there when it's time to reset the button and then pick this up and we'll take this box and we'll lift it up off the now there's a couple rubber bushings pull your air box up there's a rubber tab that this sits into down here on the frame frame rail so you want to make sure that uh, you pull hard pull straight up and now you can get your tube off now you might have a little bit of resistance if it's been on there a while like this one has and that's why we're changing it right there show you that right there that's my finger sticking through that hole right there that is unmetered air getting into your engine that is a check engine light waiting to happen and also the car will run rough it'll have a high higher than normal idle and it will just give you a whole host of issues on your new one you want to make sure that your uh over the clamp fits inside that uh recess right there put your hose back on tighten up the uh front clamp 
Make sure that your hose clamp sits down inside there. That's there for a reason. Looks like the new one is going to be, oh, well, that's, the new one's the same size as the old one, so. Tighten up, and make sure you hold that firmly on there. Tighten up your clamp, but don't tighten it all the way in case you have to rotate this. On the top of the boot there's an arrow on top of the air cleaner make sure those line up and we're gonna do that here in just a second we'll make sure it's tight but not completely tight till you're done all right so now we're gonna take our air box we're gonna push our air box down we're gonna push in on this piece here so we can get this down past the lid and then we're going to take our box we're going to push it over top make sure you push in and down on your box to get it back into the frame rail and our arrows are not lining up so what we need to do is loosen this clamp up a little bit so that we can rotate this boot or this tube and you want it to line straight up so let me show you what that looks like when it's all done so you're going to have your arrows line up just like that that's what it looks like down there on the end now when you tighten this clamp you want to make sure that your clamp sits like that so you can get to it in the back your bolts they'll just tighten down inside that housing right there and then your back part of your air cleaner goes down inside that grommet right there so tighten this up see if I can get you in a little bit closer so you can see a little bit more there we go now you can see the bolts so before we tighten this up we're going to tighten down our bolts for our air cleaner you can use a ratcheting wrench you can use a speed wrench you can use whatever you want just as long as you get these bolts down go ahead and switch back to our tool here now we're gonna tighten these clamps down all the way. Make sure that before you tighten them down that the clamps are inside of their spaces there on the tube. Make sure you put your hand up underneath it. Make sure that it came, because it's not on on the bottom. So we gotta push it down on the bottom too. One way you can avoid that from happening is to put it on the bottom first and then make sure this clamp's extra loose. That way you can get the uh, end of the tube to stretch over the like that. Make sure she's on all the way around. These things will make you think they're on there and then you go you start your car and Guess what? You're not on. There we go. I felt it fall in. Yeah, this thing. Uh, they like to do that. So. Tighten this up. Just snug it like you would any hose clamp. Whenever you feel it's tight enough, as long as it don't break the clamp or crack your throttle body, you'll be good to go. That one's tight. I'm gonna roll this clamp back around, get it inside the notch, tighten this clamp down. Same way we did the back one. Now what you want to do after you finish this repair, start the car check for any type of air leaks from the system as well as to see if your check engine light comes on 
should not have any lights come on after you do this repair. We're nice and tight if you do have any um, lights come on for a mass airflow sensor or anything like that double check your fitting around the end of your air cleaner and then make sure you got it all the way around the throttle body and then um, if that looks good check your fitment down on your uh, air box to the air baffle there right here and make sure that you got that down all the way um, if you need to, you can always unscrew that and move that around and put that back down. So, hook up your PCB hose to you hear it click. And then we're going to go ahead and start it. And we're going to take a listen. like changes in idle like high idle to low idle to high idle now it's going to normally bring itself down to regular idle speed because it's on a cold start you can hear it slowing down that's normal you're listening for any abnormal idle changes right now it's doing the system check sounds pretty good check the dashboard and see if we have any lights on let's go ahead over to our dashboard the only light you should see on is the one for the door and maybe the seat belt lights on The only light we have on is for our door. So, I think we did it. That's how you change your air tube on your Ford Focus or your Transit Connect. Uh, I'm sure there's many others where you can use this video. I think the newer Fusions use this hose. Um, any of these engines, really. This is the 2 liter version, but they make a 1.5 and a 1.6 and a 1.8. Uh, they all use this, uh, if you use this, heat, this, uh, air box here, then this video is for you. But, uh, that's how you do it. So, um, if you need any other parts, I believe Dorman makes this part. This is called your air cleaner assembly. Um, this here is your PCV hose or your breather tube. If you look at breather tube on google you'll see this piece right here i don't have a usable part number on it or i could give that to you um that's about it really so go ahead and do all the things like share subscribe all that good stuff um if you've you know this car's got 113,000, i think it said on there and that hose sprung a hole in it so See, this is what happens with rubber. It just dry rots, okay? And so there's just, when they dry rot, there's nothing you can do about it. Because what they do is they'll form, a, form a, a dimple in it, and then you get this hole right here. So um, let me know how many miles are on your car when you have to do this. Uh, see if we can find a trend here somewhere where, like, you know, we can let the other focus owners know hey right about a hundred and whatever thousand you gotta change your tube here so you don't get a check engine light for too much air so and of course if you want to you can save these clamps but i i'm probably just going to recycle them so that's it for me have a good weekend and uh, we'll see you next time